Recent press coverage has focused a lot of attention on some long-hidden vulnerabilities in firewalls. Network security teams are scrambling to understand whether they are exposed and to what extent. This video will show you how to use Red Seal to understand the extent of the problem in your specific network. What we'll start with is identifying access to our firewalls. So using Security Intelligence Center, we'll put a query in here. It starts with our untrusted networks. And then we'll select our group for firewalls. And we'll run a simple access query. And what we see is access query for UDP 161, which is SNMP access, is available from one system to uh, from one external network to a particular firewall. Let's look at that in the topology. So we have an untrusted partner network that has access to the ability to send SNMP packets to our firewall here. Uh, this is not what we would like to see. But let's review if there is more access in our infrastructure. So I'm going to change this from untrusted networks and I'm going to change this to all subnets. Hit replace UDP 161 access and what we see is a poorly designed network architecture for SNMP access within this network. This provides us a detailed list of the subnets that could use SNMP access to access any of the firewalls listed. This can be reviewed here and this can also be exported. There is a second item to consider and that is checking your firewall code versions. As the various vendors release updates, it's important to track whether you have firewalls that need to be updated urgently, especially some of those that we've identified that have Y access. You can use Red Seal to generate a summary report on the types of firewalls you have and the versions of software that they're running. Navigating to the Reports tab, we would choose Security Model, New Security Model Report, Network Device, Create Report, provide the report a name, select the strings that we would like. For this exercise, we'll use OS version. And we're going to change our grouping here, and we're going to limit this to 10 rows. Apply a filter, limiting it to our firewalls, and we would save this report. From our report console, identify the report, click to run it, and here we see that we have a number of firewalls and their versions. We see that displayed over here. Uh, we have our ASAs, but we also have some Fortinets. As part of uh, the recent vulnerabilities that were released in the Shadow Broker uh, publication, Fortinet has published an advisory advising customers that are running the version 4 firewall code to upgrade to 5.x. Here we have a quick list of firewalls that meet the criteria for upgrade. I hope you have found this information helpful and we welcome any questions that you may have. Thank you.